We're going to show you Streamlit, which is a simple interface, which is basically very configurable to get a, your uh, Gemini API working. And it's a super simple setup, super simple install with a nice clean interface. Let's go. So what we're going to do today is show you the Streamlit version of um, connecting to Gemini. This is going to be hosted on your local computer, but you can deploy this to an app somewhere. Um, but first of all, what we're going to do is install Anaconda, and then I'm going to show you how to um, install the remainder of the um, tools and software. All right, so basically what you need to do is go to Anaconda and go to the installation space. Um, Anaconda is free and it's basically just a nice um, interface uh, for you to run your Python code. All right, so you can click on install for Windows. I've already installed it, so I won't go through it, but it's really simple wizard. Um, just click next um, as you work through it. And um, once you've um, installed it, what you can do is um, head on over to your um, command line. So we, what we can do is just open up our command line over here and just type in Anaconda. And what we can do is uh, go to the mini conda. All right, and what we'll do now is um, create a folder. So let's go CD, uh, let's go, let's go MK, der, um, let's just call this Jimmy Nye. All right, and we can go into Gemini. All right. And then what we want to do is um, just follow the next couple of steps over here. So the information that's uh, been made available is on the um, Gemini Nexus Craft GitHub uh, repository. Uh, so we're going to basically be cloning this and um, copying it down into our environment. So let's give that a go. All right, so let's just go back to our Anaconda space over here. And all we want to do is type in the following so git clone and then we're going to pop in the url and hit enter all right so it's going to copy it into the nexus uh, gemini nexus craft so we're going to go into that space now so it's got cd gemini nexus craft all right, and then what we can do is install the requirements. All right, so the way you would install the requirements using Python is your pip install and then minus R and requirements and hit enter. All right, this may take some time depending on if you've got the applications installed or not. And um, once it's done, it'll um, bring you back to your starting point. All right, the next command that you're going to run, really simple, streamlet run gemini.py. And what this will do now is it will open up the streamlet um, application and automatically open a website, which is running off your local host on a specific port. And um, if you were on a server or anything like that, you could basically just copy this um, particular network URL for your users to use. All right, so really simple, really easy to do. All right, so the, f the, the first thing we need to do is um, click on which one we want to use. We want to use text or we want to use the provision. All right, but what we need is an API key. All right, so to get your API key, you would basically go over to your um, Gemini uh, studio so let's just go here and go to ai.google.dev all right so head on over to ai.google.dev and really simple click on get api key and all you want to do is click on the get api key on the left hand side over here and what it will do is it will show you um uh, how to get the key. So if you've already got a key, you can just uh, grab it or you can create a new key in the ape in the new project or create an API in the existing project. So if you just click it, it'll automatically create something for you. And um, what you can do is come back and um, pop it into your uh, space over here. All right. And once you've done that, all right, so this is my API key. You hit the enter button. And what you can do now is you can set your temperatures 
Um, so again, your temperature is your um, quality of your output. So the higher the temperature, the more it's going to be creative. The less the temperature, the less creative it is. And this is a great little way for you to um, have an interface on your Gemini uh, models. Uh, so really simple. Hello, Gemini. Make me a sandwich recipe. And let's see what it does. All right, so you'll notice that it's running on our local host, connecting up to the Gemini API. Here's the run, and here is your output. So really simple, really easy to use, and um, I hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you enjoy this content, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more awesome stuff.